Alrighty guys, welcome indeed to the new March ban list prediction video. So let's go ahead and get started. So first off, we're gonna have several different categories. The first thing I'm gonna be talking about is things that will get banned and or unbanned over here. So let's go and get started with the first card over here with the Cyber Angel Benton. Uh, this card obviously is able to add that fairy, locking your opponent out of potentially special summoning monsters, but you can still special summon. It's it's basically the Vandy's, uh, you know, ruler that you're gonna be searching out for that makes the uh, deck so powerful. It's a very one-sided thing, but um, that is a card that, uh, I mean, I'm not talking about Vandy's ruler really getting banned, but it's like Benton is kind of like what brings out this card. So I think a lot of people just want this card banned uh, and uh, dry Trons will definitely suffer from it, but at the end of the day, uh, this is like a no fun zone for sure, especially when they can add the Heralds or other negations. It's definitely not a fun matchup, I would say, for a lot of people, especially if the deck uh, gets to uh, go first. Uh, next up though, um, Harp Horror. We also recently got that new change with uh, obviously getting the Rush Bardish back, and I was excited to go back and try out the Orcus variants, but I didn't really see very much success, and I haven't seen other people online have much success with the, the Orcus uh, variant decks so this could be something to take into consideration that also there's not really uh, at the moment anything announced for Orcus but it would be a card that like they try to support uh, you know Orcus or you know Phantom Knight uh, Orcus variants um, by putting R Rusty Bardish back but that didn't really happen um, now Astrograph Sorcerer over here there is more pendulum support coming out we do know that at least Dorian Court has a few confirmed extra cards coming out but we don't know what those effects are yet but being able to have this extra card is like more like uh, potentially generic being able to go ahead and have another monster this could be a card to take into consideration as well I know a lot of people have been waiting for an Astrograph and or uh, even Kieran over here uh, could be like another like generic ish pendulum support that uh, could see some uh, you know uh, rise to come back into the game um, but then over here uh, things like these are the cards that could come back over here and speaking of coming back uh, Firewall Dragon with the newer errata keep in mind the new errata basically makes him so he's not good because that's be like a cyber it could still definitely be used but it's more niche than anything uh, for sure and another card that could definitely come back since they are going to come out with more pendulum cards again uh, Metal Foe's got some new stuff, but like, who's playing it, right? And at the same time, Electromite would just support the Doremi cords, and they're getting more support later down the line. And I'm just thinking of just Pendulum support in general. Um, these would be the cards that are kind of the ones that I think that most people have the radar on. Anyways, uh, moving on to other cards that are um, on the chopping block for getting banned. This card, a lot of people wanted it gone from uh, Virtual Worlds. Um, this is just seen in everything. And the new Stardust, uh, you know, Majestic Star Support, they don't really need this anyway, so that is definitely kind of cool. Obviously, you can play it, uh, but uh, this is what enables a lot of combos in just so many decks that makes it too powerful. A lot of people wanted this card gone a long time ago. Heck, we go to the OCG, and well, the list is a little bit different over here. But at the same time, I think a lot of people just don't like seeing this in every deck. And a lot of people predicted this card would get banned time and time again, and it just slips by the ban list. But speaking of another card that doesn't let you play, uh, you know, just like True King, they kind of do the same thing. It's just like, you know, your opponent isn't going to be playing. Obviously, with Numeron's already been out for a while, they're not even like, really doing that much. But this is a card that I just, I think a lot of people just have a bias towards specifically these two cards. This one gets made a lot more often, though. Um, so this one's more realistic that people don't like that one. But again, it's still a no fun single player uh, PVE experience when you just make your own board and then you say you can't Yu-Gi-Oh. Now this one up over here, I'm curious to see if, and I'm curious to know uh, down below in the comment section below, uh, if you guys think that this card will go to one or banned. I think it could go either way, like, you know, it could be uh, put to one and then banned, even though putting it to one, I feel like it doesn't do anything. So I'm putting it on my predictions as banned. Um, it's just one of those cards where like if you go and see Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro and there's so many games that say no Dragoon, no Dragoon, it's just all over the place. So I think that at this point we don't have an announcement of like a reprint or anything too and there's not really any deck that needs this. It's just every deck uses it, right? So it's kind of one of those cards as well. But those are the things that I think that will be banned slash unbanned uh, with the upcoming list. Now, moving on to... Uh, Semi and limiting. So some of these, it could be either one of these as some of these are like, you know, it's multiple cards for an archetype. I'm not saying 
uh, semi and limit every single one of these. Uh, it's just like, it just hit like something in it, right? So Eldritch, I think a lot of people just want something hit in the deck, right? Just, just even if they just put like one of these, like both these to two or just one of these two, it'll just be like, okay, we, we heard you, right? Um, I know some people want Dogmatica being hit, but I know that there's also other support coming out for that as well later down the line. So I'm not sure if they'll hit that. Same thing with um, the Drytrons. I don't think they'll hit that deck too hard. Obviously, uh, Benton is like not even from their own archetype. But uh, I'm also thinking about like, if they just hit what's like, you know, played now, the newer decks will also have a, a chance to shine, right? Some of those other, uh, not necessarily the best decks, but still decks that are kind of still seeing some play could be another thing to take into consideration. So yeah, just like maybe put these to two, maybe one, putting just one of them to one, whatever they choose, something, right? Moving on to dinosaurs, something, something with, I mean, I think this is the best card, uh, obviously in the deck. Uh, this card is also really good. This card is pretty good too, but if they just hit something in here, maybe uh, putting this down to one and you can still have this at three or this to two and then you know i, I don't know something right i think um something with uh dinosaurs they probably won't hit this i think these are the much better cards overall since a lot of combos you don't even need an obvi raptor to combo off anymore you can almost uh normal summon the argosaur as your normal anyways but overall just something in dinosaurs and then also the invoked uh as should all invoked and invo invoked everything is uh very popular and it's just another one of those engines that you can splash in maybe just putting some of these just at, at, again maybe at two it won't really like hurt if both these are put to two and but if they're both put to one obviously that it's like okay why even play it but you know just something to be at least acknowledge uh, that they do exist next up uh the skull Corbat joker um this one is just something i've seen a lot of people talk about um i'm not sure how i personally feel about it. i mean we only really got to play the full power variant of it uh, you know, for like a week before it got hit on the list, unfortunately, or fortunately, because it was so dang OP, but Yu-Gi-Oh has definitely gotten much faster. So I'd be surprised to see if, you know, maybe they put it to one and, and people are like, okay, you know, whatever. And then also uh, a hero lives. I think that hero lives um, because there is technically there's a greater polymerization. Uh, we don't have any confirmed newer support for heroes at the moment of me making this video, but you guys know that heroes, blue eyes, they'll always get support, right? Dark Magician is just sometimes it takes some time, but it would at least uh, allow us to go into the combos, especially with the Lunar Book of Moon with Hero Lives. You could actually, you know, um, get rid of any key card and then, you know, Miracle Law. There's a lot of things that I think that this would enable. If you put it at three, it might be like, whoa, too much. So I think putting this at two would be kind of a cool, uh, you know, just just give heroes something because it's just a fan favorite, really, at the end of the day. Uh, next up, at Seconds Light, what's the point of this card at one? Uh, at three, some people consider it too good, but look at all the other draw power we have that exists in the game right now. Are people really gonna really want to run Sekka's Light at one? Like, come on, at least two is what I'm gonna put for this list over here. And then uh, this is something I just wanted to discuss about. A lot of people wanted the Call by the Grave to go back to two or even three. Here's the way I see it. We were supposed to get the cross out designator, the ice bear, uh, like um, a freezing change thing, but we didn't get it. So I think what they're gonna do is they're gonna keep this card at one specifically because this is basically the same thing. I mean, obviously, yeah, you require the target, but it can be better in some circumstances than just called. So I think for that specific reason, cross out designator will be kind of like the replacement for this. So I think this card will stay at one. It's just something I wanted to mention here. But on top of that, um, these are cards that a lot of people, I've, I've seen a lot of people like discuss about, like oh, they could definitely pump Mirage Stallion or even the Thunder Dragon Colossus. For my personal like prediction here, I'm just gonna, I'm mentioning them now, but I don't think they're gonna be on here. And this is at least what I personally think. I don't know of any new support coming out for specifically Thunder Dragon, so like why put it back, right? It doesn't really make any sense. Plus it stops a lot of decks that would search and you know, most of the, newer generation Yu-Gi-Oh decks, they search like crazy, that would make it so those decks would be less powerful, therefore it would incentivize people to not play those, right? And then uh, as far as I'm aware of, uh, there is no confirmed um, uh, Mirage Stallio uh, also. Uh, there's no new Salaman Great support that I'm aware of, so I don't think that these cards will come back, but I'm just trying to use my like logic with, uh, you know, marketing, right? You know, you want the new stuff to be uh, something to make people be interested in playing. So that's it for the semi and the limited area over here. Now, next up, I only have, uh, if we go to the ban list, there's only like the other uh, true king card, but I only, I, I'll admit, I'm biased with this one. I just want Manly at three. Uh, I, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of heroes, but I feel like Manly at two people don't want to play. At three, is it really OP? Well, with the umbrellas, it can get pretty nasty, but that's, I mean, personally for me, I think that um, 
it could potentially go to three. Uh, it's just the only card, like there, we only have two cards that are some, uh, uh, that are at the uh, semi-limited in the TCG right now, if we just go to the semi-limited. And like, I feel like uh, you, maybe this card too, but like, honestly, I would I would like Mally, but that's the only thing to really mention. There's literally only two cards on the uh, semi-limited uh, list right now that could potentially go to three, because there's only literally two of them. Now, what we're gonna do next is the wild card. So these ones, just as a heads up, I'm not predicting that we're gonna put all of these. I think that one of those cards, you know guys, uh, there's always sometimes on the ban list where there's like that one card that people are like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. You know, for us YouTubers to get excited and make those thumbnails, right? Um, we we need some crazy cards. So these are the wild cards. You guys remember Snatch 2 came back. People were like, oh my gosh. Some people freaked out about Harpy's Feather Duster, but at this point, I think Harpy's Feather Duster would go to three and people wouldn't even main deck three of them. It's just Yu-Gi-Oh is definitely gotten way faster right so uh, anyways this, these are the wild cards so these are all banned but i'm thinking like you know these cards have some potential to come back in the game and i'll kind of explain so first off grass well i mean what's the point of playing a 60 card deck even if they put it to one i don't think people will want to play it um it's either at like three or people don't want it um i mean if we look at the ocg look at look at what's available here we got three of these cards. I mean, obviously these ones are just crazy, but you never know what's gonna happen here uh, when they just put a wild card back into the game. So I think Grass, uh, again. Now this one, I, I wanna dedicate one video like specifically to Maxi, but I feel like maybe some sort of errata could make it come back. Uh, but I feel like that this card, if you combo and then throw that down, it's almost like a lock. It's like a floodgate in a sense because you can draw into your hand trap, stopping your opponent from even doing anything. And even if they do do something, you're drawing extra cards anyway. So I think max C can be pretty good. But if you also think about like how some of the decks play now, if you max C, I'm pretty sure a lot of those new Synchro decks, they could just simply deck you out, which is kind of funny, because uh, that new Stardust deck, it special summons like crazy. Um, so I'm curious to know if you guys think Max she should come back, should it be at three? Or should it be at one? Um, because if you put it to, to one, it's like, oh, he opened up Maxi, broken, whatever. But if it's three, like you expect to see it a lot more. You kind of plan around your plays so you don't have to, you know, worry or, you know, not worry about Maxi if that makes sense. So you also have to consider that as well. Um, I'm thinking maybe an errata of like, you can't control any special summon monsters when you activate this card or for the next turn uh, after, right? That could be something to consider. I know some people don't like erratas, but you know, it's been at three in the OCG for so long. We can't even have one. Uh, next up, Fairy Tale Snow. I have not seen the Light Sworn. Uh, like, I don't really feel like there's any other deck variant that's like really good. That's just like mill my entire deck. Um, Light Sworn was kind of the most popular like variant that really did make use of Snow, and eh, it's just like a card that I think it has some potential. It's kind of a little bit of a wild card too. Um, this one's a little bit more wild because you know, obviously with uh, a bunch of the you know Synchro stuff coming out, like Dandelion is just it's so insane. Uh, just getting those tokens again and again and again. But also Sunvine, like what is Sunvine doing? I I don't know, but it's just one of those crazy cards that people are gonna be like, I can't believe it came back. Uh, Heavy Storm, I don't feel like it would really matter. Um, this has been a, a card that I've talked about for the longest time, Yada Garasu. Like, do, does anyone think that Yada Lock is gonna actually work in 2021? I think most people would negate with a hand trap. It's your normal summon. It's a spirit monster. Like, it's outdated. Another really insane card. Let me, I'll go over to Snatch Steel first. Like, this card has came back multiple times. It's just one of those cards where at least when your opponent makes something cool, you back is mine for a turn. But if you guys also think about it, I've seen a few people do this too, um, where they're just running Mark of the Rose. You wanna know why? It's basically in most decks, right? It, as long as Dragoon doesn't get banned, because uh, the Predator Plant, uh, plant, uh, the Vertex uh, is, what? Well, hey, look, it's a plant, Mark of the Rose, uh, is almost uh, as good after the turn it goes away. You know, obviously this is just much better overall, but I've seen some people do this, which was interesting. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, Snatch Steel is just way better. But uh, it could just be one of those cards that people freak out when it does uh, come back. But another thing that I I've been wanting to see this card, just, you know, there's a lot of these, you know, uh, WCS prize cards that, you know, you can't use a real duel where it's like tribute three of this type of monster if it reduces your opponent's, uh, if it attacks your opponent directly and also reduces their 
uh, life points to zero and you win the match. I, I think it would be crazy. People would try to do something. And like, that's what I like sometimes when these ban lists come out, that they have one crazy card. People like want to build something around it. So again, these are all wild cards that would be huge surprises. But uh, I think that it'd be funny to see people try to pull off Victory Dragon as a win condition. Uh, yeah, in innovation yeah, is, is a great word uh, for just like trying out other obscure win conditions as, you know, playing like things like Exodia, Final Countdown, like these did definitely see play uh, years ago, but have you guys recently seen people successfully pull off those types of win conditions? Uh, like Destiny Board, the Destiny Board got some newer support, not like t this year, but like, it's just like people don't play with those alternate win conditions. And it'd be kind of cool just to see another thing come out of the game as everything's usually pretty negate heavy and lasting that long with Final Countdown. Like, good luck trying to do that uh, realistically against what I would consider a meta player. But that's gonna go ahead and wrap up things for my ban list predictions. Uh, remember this is a prediction not a wish list wish list would be a completely different story uh but uh, anyways you guys can let me know your thoughts if you want to talk about a wish list and or what uh predictions that you felt like i missed out on definitely let me know in the comment section below but thanks for watching guys and if you enjoyed the video drop a like on it if you're new here and want to see more Yu Gi Oh content in the future and obviously when the new band list comes out we'll be doing a day one uh impressions of it so if you want to see that and you're new subscribe to the bell and you'll definitely see more very soon but take care guys and i'll catch you on the next video and i'm out Peace.